Good morning, friends. This is Brian with Lesson 5 for Reading, and today we are going to talk about comparing and contrasting. And those might be words that we don't use very often. So comparing would be meaning, um, what are some of the similarities about some things? Today we're going to take a look at what is the same about two of our characters in our story. We can also compare uh, events that happen in the story. We can also compare two stories to see what their similarities are. That word contrast means that we want to find out the differences. So while there are some things that are the same about characters, there are usually lots of things that are different about characters. That's what makes our stories interesting. So today I have a story for you called Sheila Ray the Brave by Kevin Hankus. And we have at least two characters in this story. Sheila Ray is one of the characters and her sister Louise that we're gonna take a look at to do some compare and contrast. Sheila Ray wasn't afraid of anything. Pages are sticking together today. She wasn't afraid of the dark. She wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning. And she wasn't afraid of the big black dog at the end of the block. <clears throat> At dinner, Sheila Ray made believe that the cherries in her fruit cocktail were the eyes of dead bears, and she ate five of them. And at school, Sheila Ray giggled when the principal walked by, uh, and when her classmate Wendell stole her jump rope at, uh, during recess, Sheila Ray tied him up until the end, till the bell rang. I am very brave, Sheila Ray said, patting herself on the back. <clears throat> Sheila Ray stepped on every crack in the sidewalk without fear. When her sister Louise said there was a monster in the closet, Sheila Ray attacked it. And she rode her bicycle, no handed, with her eyes closed, clapping, and her Friends yelled, yay, yay, Sheila Ray, clapping her hands, clapping their hands. One day, Sheila Ray decided to walk home from school a new way. Louise was afraid to. You're too brave for me, Louise said. You're always such a scaredy cat, Sheila Ray called. I am not, whispered Louise. We see a little bit of a difference between them, don't we? They're sisters, they're wearing similar clothes, but hmm. Sheila Ray started off skipping. I am brave, she sang. I am fearless. She stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at every stray dog and she clenched, bared her teeth. At stray cats. <clears throat> and she pretended that the trees were all creatures. She climbed up them and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. <clears throat> <clears throat> she the Ray walked and walked. She turned corners, she crossed streets, and it suddenly occurred to Sheila Ray that nothing looked familiar. Sheila Ray heard frightening noises. They sounded worse than thunder. <clears throat> she thought horrible thoughts. They were worse than anything she had ever imagined. I am brave, Sheila Ray tried to convince herself. I am fearless. The sounds became more frightening. The thoughts became more horrible. Sheila Ray sat down on a rock and cried, help, she sniffed. She thought of her mother and her father and Louise. Mother, father, Louise, she cried. Here I am, a voice said. 
Louise, Sheila Ray hugged her sister. We're lost, Sheila Ray said. No, we're not, said Louise. I know the way home. Follow me. Things are changing. Louise stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She jumped up and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked quietly behind her. They walked and they walked. They crossed streets. They turned corners. Soon their house could be seen between the trees. Sheila Ray grabbed Louise and dashed up the street. When they reached their own yard and the, the gate was closed behind them, Sheila Ray said, Louise, you are brave. You are fearless. We both are, said Louise, and they walked backwards into the house with their eyes closed. I love stories like Sheila Ray. Sheila Ray, a very brave character at the beginning. And there were some differences because Louise was not brave. She was not fearless. But as the story goes, and Sheila Ray becomes very brave. She's going to try a different way home than what she's ever tried before. She gets lost. But now Louise to the rescue. And Louise, ha Louise has some of those same characteristics. That means the same things about her. Remember at the end, Sheila Ray tells her, you are brave. You are fearless. Hopefully you are doing some brave and fearless things today. And I have a riddle to finally fin finish up our, our, uh, our lesson today. Let's see. How much is the moon worth? It's worth one dollar because it has four quarters. You probably learned about that in kindergarten, how the phases of the moon, we have four different quarters of it. We get to see the, the small crescent moon, then we get to see a half moon, then we get to see what's called a three quarters moon, and then the whole moon, all four quarters. Hey friends, have a great day. Remember our reading lesson today was looking for compare and contrast your characters and your stories. So as you're reading today, see if you can find some things that are same about your characters or different about your characters and you'll be using our strategy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.